Hello there everybody, this is Alex from Hardcoin Guy, it's being my guide for The Darkness 2 on Dawn Difficulty. Today we're doing Mission 8, Fun and Games. And it's certainly one thing that I would say is not Fun and Games. And in this particular video, you're going to notice that I'm going to be skipping a lot of parts. And you'll see why, because those parts are boring as hell. So, this is the very first fight of the actual game. You get to do like a little fun mini game with like shooting like ducks and stuff. So you get to do some fun carnival games for a little bit. But starting off, um, I recommend staying back to where you originally start this checkpoint area, like near these boxes. You want to have some decent cover for this part, because these guys are just going to be animalistic and just beat the fuck out of you. Um, this part is relatively hard. I mean, I would say that this is probably one of the harder levels of the game, uh, at least as of right now. Like, it beats, it trumps the cemetery in terms of difficulty just for normal waves of enemies. But boss fight wise, like so far the last boss fight was actually pretty damn tough. So, right now, we have uh, just, you know, normal goons and stuff, and I don't think we get a boss fight in this level, I don't remember. I don't think so. And the worst part about this level, in my opinion, besides it just being a fucking gross-looking clown-ass, stupid-ass, clussy-looking motherfucker uh, level design, um, <laughs> other than that, I would say the lights are just a pain in the dick. And these guys, I think this is their introduction to our, the beginning of this. Also, you start off this level with an M1911s. Like, you just lose your UMP, I guess, because... Well, I think Jackie had to go home, and he came back, and I guess he dropped off his cool guns. Which, the M1911s are still cool, of course. It's just that I kind of wanted those, you know, submachine guns. Because, I don't know, they were nice. So. Now, we have those, um, Dasher and Prancer douchebags that, you know, like to teleport. I don't really exactly have the best advice for you. If at this point in the game you have the Swarm, that's a good move to have. If you're looking to have an upgrade, uh, the Swarm is definitely a nice upgrade to have for those guys because they'll stop them in their tracks and then kill them. Shotgun is also, I guess, okay because they do like to get in your face a lot. They don't have a lot of health, so, I mean, the best thing I can give you is Doom Advice, which is just shoot it until it fucking dies. So, I don't know what else to tell you besides, like, take cover and just blast them if they get close. Because typically what they'll do is they'll just, you know, they'll dash around and then they'll just try to... I think they might be the whip enemies, I don't know. No, they can't be... The, no, they, they they totally couldn't be the same enemy, could they? I don't remember. I They might actually be whip enemies. I don't remember. Huh. Well, fuck me then. I guess they're now dashing around. Well, whatever the case... Who cares? Whatever the case, they're still dicks at the end of the day. I don't care. Um, so, yeah, they're a little... They're a tad bit more tank here, but they're not really that difficult which i'm actually honestly glad that i think dawn difficulty does where i think enemies are just i i'm not exactly sure about the health pool for like normal mode but i would assume their health is probably either increased by a little bit or just increased by nothing at all and i'm just going fucking you know psychotic over here not understanding what the hell i'm talking about um i haven't really played normal mode in years the last time i played normal mode was like i said years but I watched my friend play this on normal, and it looked roughly about the same, so I don't know. I don't remember. But, yeah, uh, just, you know, stay the hell away. Shoot them from a range. Don't let them get close, that type of thing. Which should be pretty obvious, but it's kind of an, it's even more harder when you have to deal with them around the field. Which is why, this is going to sound really weird, but... The guys that dash around, if you don't have Swarm, then don't make them priority. Just go for the guys that are, are just actually trying to rush you. Or, you know, they don't try to flank you, but, you know what I mean. Like, the enemies are trying to get too damn close. Just don't fuck with them. Just, you know, deal with the other guys and shit, so. Oh, yeah, we got the sawed off in this level. That's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice gun right there, if I do say so much. Yeah, pretty nice. You know what? There's a lot of things I want to talk about because like I, I see the word sawed off and just puts my brain into this weird thing right now where I just want to talk about dumb shit. But at the same time, like I don't want to give away my ideas, you know what I mean? It's uh, you know, just game ideas again, that's that's all. So I don't wanna I know they say like, oh no one's gonna fucking care, but it's like uh, you never know. So it might be a good idea. Who knows? I don't want anybody to know, right? But I never fucking make games because I suck. I barely even finished all my Blender projects, dude, so... Yeah. Fuck me, I've been too busy just trying to work on drawing and shit. 
that's what I've been working on. So, yeah, um, this part, stay the hell back here. I mean, just get away from that truck. If you can shoot the lights off quick enough, then yeah, you're good. But this is why I hate this level 4, because it's just filled with nothing but fucking lights. And it's just a pain in the ass to deal with. Because, like, you know, once again, I don't think you can regenerate health while you're in the light. So it's very bad to have that. But having that M1911 for this level is not that bad either, because they got good range on them, so... And I know what you're probably thinking, like, why are you wasting shotgun shells on a goddamn light from a fucking... Whatever it's called. Or what? It's called a headlight, you dumbass. Uh, why am I wasting, you know, ammo on them? Well, because I want to make sure my shot gets shot, you know what I mean? So, and I get plenty of ammo. I just regenerate ammo. It's not a big deal. And, you know, you, you get a free shield if you're lucky enough, so... Unless you already have, like, the shield execution by now. I sort of do and don't recommend the shield... Uh, execution. I may, I might have said that before in like earlier videos, but it's one of those that I recommend. Like if you're actually wanting to use it, then go ahead and do it. But uh, for me personally, I found myself not really using it as much as I thought I was going to use it. So if by now you want to get swarm, uh, looking at it later in this video because this was just like a one run take. So I'm just trying to give you like advice from future, you know, future endeavors that happens. I would just go for swarm instead personally, but. I went for a uh, shield execution because I thought, you know, at this point in time in the game, having a shield and having cover was the best option, you know. Which, I mean, it's not that it's not. It's just that, you know, yeah, look at that. Look at me miss that shit like a complete dumbass. That's what happens when you suck. So, yeah, once again, you know, we're in the goddamn light once again. So... Of course, you can find out where the light is just by looking at the ground. It's pretty nifty and nice. I, I like the mechanic. I'm just saying that, God, this level just hits you with it everywhere. And it just really fucking stings. So, yeah, I um, I switched out for the Klishnikov because, I don't know, I just like it a little better than I like the sawed-off in this one. I normally like sawed-off guns, you know, like Doom having the super shotgun is pretty badass. At least I think it's sawed-off. It looks like it. Uh, yeah, so, you know. I like that. It's just, um, in this game, shotguns are either good or really weird. So, they're never bad, per se. They're just kind of odd, I guess. If you get what I mean. I don't know. I don't, I, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. I'm having... I'm getting anxiety for uh, future endeavors with work right now. So, my brain is pumping that crap again but anyway so yeah these western enemy guys that teleport around uh luckily for us they're melee enemies so i don't have to no i think they have guns normally i don't remember also what the fuck is wrong with my tea today i got some you know black and green tea again at my local gas station by local i mean fucking quick rush i got some uh yeah, I got some green... They've been having shitty fucking green tea for some reason. I don't know why. So, if you work at Quick Trip, I'm sorry, but, you know, you got some bad fucking green tea. You guys need to fix that shit. I don't know what happened, but it's not its not that good anymore. For some reason. Oh, yeah. You guys can tell that I'm just not enjoying this level at all. It's just, it's just whatever. It's just super fucking long, super fucking boring, and just an all-round, be it whatever level. I, you know, I'm probably going to get a comment later that's going to say something like, Man, fuck you, I love this level, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yes, dude, we, we, okay, that's cool, we get it. What's funny is, um, I, I've been getting a lot of comments on my postal videos about just the dumbest shit. About, like, did you know that this, that, and the other? And it's like, I'm, yeah, I, I've gotten all the achievables I've beaten the game, uh, quite often, actually. I enjoyed my game. And then I started playing Doom Eternal on PC, and then that changed my entire life style for a good while. And still kind of does. So, yeah, it got me back. It got me to buy Doom Eternal on PC and then play that, and that was just fan fucking tastic. And I have learned to love Doom Eternal ever since. So, yeah. But yeah, I get. I understand why people do it. It's just like. Are they trying to mention it to me, or are they trying to mention it to people that watch the video and they see the comment? Like, it's just one of those things. Um, 
You know, but hey, you know, if you get comments, then that's good, right? It's just that, I don't know. I just, I have this problem where I just don't like comments that are kind of know it all I guess. That, I come, I'm sounding like a dick when I say that, but unless you have a genuine tip of advice, I guess, then, I mean, it just seems kind of know it all ish. But like I said, maybe it was not meant for me. Maybe it was meant for the other commenters. I don't know, other people watching the video. If that's the case, then yeah, of course. But the way I see it, because like I don't really get a lot of stuff on YouTube anyway. I'm not, I'm not. I don't really get shit on YouTube. Nobody genuinely watches my stuff unless I do something particular that all of a sudden everybody starts watching. So it's one of those things. Anyway, as you can see, um, I died, got a checkpoint, and I went straight for the explosive barrel. And this was something I learned the hard way. Um, but yeah, now I bought the ability to see the walls. It's gonna help you here for that, that's for sure. If you don't have it, that's fine. But something I learned about this part is just run the fuck up on these guys. Don't stop for shit. Get to that damn truck and just blow them the hell off. Because the faster you get rid of these dicks, um, the easier the, it, you know this fight becomes. Because when you, This is one of those fights where like I feel like being too passive ends up getting you killed more than it does actually helping you. At least in the very beginning part, because they have this thing where they just end up swarming the hell out of you from pretty much all sides. Even if you find a corner to hide in, they'll just eventually get around to getting you. And you don't want multiple enemies on your ass at once. And it's funny, I say like, oh yeah, be aggressive as hell. But the way I was able to, you know, even pull that off to begin with was because I used, you know, gun channeling once again to just go in there and just go ham. So, absolutely recommend like an automatic weapon for that situation definitely not anything that's semi-auto because that would not really work as fast and i think by this time i might have actually had a better cooldown for my gun channeling ability possibly so there's that i think i might have it i don't know if i don't i don't if i do I do. but just keep utilizing you know keep waiting for your triangle to come up and just nail these dudes to a fucking coffin because that's what they deserve so yeah <laughs> They're dicks. That's what they get for putting me through this fucking movie. God, and my eyes are just hurting too. My eyes are bugging out, man. Oh yeah, then we get to pick up the car. I don't remember if this was the first time. No, we got the we got that in like Home Invasion, I think, that we got to play with. So, yeah, the carbine is pretty fun. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I like burst weapons and stuff. Yeah, this was a weird part because like this little corner that I'm standing in right now, I. It's probably like the best corner I can think of besides the other one I was just in near like the the ticket booth um, If you're near this one, this one's pretty good because there's not a lot of room they can just get into But yeah, so you know go for the guys with the lights first Carbine is actually really good though. Like I, I don't Think anybody hates it. I don't mean granted. I don't really know anybody that plays this game to begin with to be honest with you but the way I see it the carbine is really good for just good amount of damage in a short amount of time and this is where things get a little cheeky is because now I have to deal with a shield enemy that happens to be stuck out of cover and of course the Darkling doesn't really seem to want to do anything about that so I have to go out of my way to do something myself and when you grab their shield just back the hell up and throw it again don't worry about having it because the longer you have it the longer the, the icon the stronger the icon of sin becomes so don't you know, don't don't fuck with them. I guess it's, that that's old tip of advice earlier was just you know if you're fighting a shield guy and you grab his shield, throw it directly at him. Don't don't waste, don't worry about the cover. Just throw the fucking thing because the faster you get rid of him, the better off your life will be. Trust me. So what I buy now? I eventually do buy the air darkling just because I thought it'd be funny and I remember having that like in my original playthrough. And I just it's actually not a bad ability really. I just never found myself wanting to utilize it that much, to be honest, because, you know, what happens is, like, especially in later levels, when you have to deal with the light guys that, you know, shine lights on you and stuff, is you gotta deal with them, and you'll eventually drop the Darkwing, and he'll just fucking die, so... I cuss a lot in these videos, don't I? I'm sure people are gonna get mad. But it's the darkness, too. I mean... Why would you get mad at me cussing? They cuss all the damn time in this game. 
And, I mean, that's kind of my shtick, too, is I'm just known for cussing the hell out of the storm, you know? That's my shtick, man. That's, that, that's, that's the only thing I've got going on YouTube, dude, is I'm that guy that still cusses on YouTube. I'm, like, the only one, dude. You know, I promise. I'm, like, the only one, man. So, anyway, all right. Next fight. Um, this little section is not going to be bad. It's the next section that comes up where they, they, uh, come out of the woodwork, out of that cage, that, like, fence door, um, to the, like, leftish side up here, so, or wherever the heck it was. I think it's, yeah, like, this little corner right here, um, once they start plowing out of there, that's gonna become kind of tough, because I think you get stuck with, like, a shield, and maybe, like, some whip dudes and stuff, so... Okay, these guys are not whip guys. They just teleport. But yeah, actually, funny enough, the guys that teleport, um, something actually relatively good on them is actually just your tentacle whip. Because if they get close, just whip them. You know? Because they'll stop them in their place. That's a pretty good bit of advice, I guess. They can't really do much, so, well, fuck them. And again, whatever guns you're running, it doesn't matter what the hell you run. The reason why I like having automatics for gun channeling is so I can make the most out of what I can. Because I honestly feel like gun channeling works better for automatic. Not that like it does like, you know, oh, so much damage. It's just that, you know, it just seems like it gets the most effect out of it a lot faster. But yeah, I did die. And this is where I'm, gonna, I'm just going to set up for it because they throw a flashbang. Like, practically instantly. Um, and, you know, just... Have, like, you know, having, like, dual guns that are... And having the ability to shoot through, like, you know... Uh, through walls and stuff is gonna help tremendously for this part because of those shield bastards. If not, do what you normally do to shields. Whatever, you know, you prefer doing, of course. Because I won't stop you. This game makes me kind of want to play it again, but, like, there's a lot of sections in this game that I just do not like. There's a, there's quite a bit of walking sections, too. They don't last nearly as long, but they do add up, and I just don't like that. So, all right, rounding the corner, here we go. Having to once again deal with, you know, small ways of enemies, nothing too bad, but now we have to deal with lights that we just cannot shut off unless we hit with the generator. But luckily for me, I've got a, I've got a deagle on my hands, so this is a pretty good gun for the most part. Not too bad. Um, I personally don't actually like it in this game that much. I think it's just kind of whatever. Same thing with the uh, the Cobra. I think it's just kind of, eh, it's fine. It's a decent long range weapon, but that's about it. it, it it's nice long range, but other than that, I, I don't, don't feel like the power is enough. I feel like shotguns do a little bit more, uh, you know, power than that, just a bit. You know, somebody's probably going to say, well, of course, or something, you know, something silly like that. There's actually going to come a part, I forgot to fast forward it, but there's a part where I actually forget to kill one of these guys, and I come back down here to kill them. So, you'll see that in a second, uh, when I completely, uh, forget. But yeah, I mean, just look how well this damn thing works, you know, the wall shooting, I mean, it's just, it's insane. And, uh, right in this room is actually a pretty okay uh, little hidey hole that you can just, you know, hide back into. Typically, places that don't have anything from, like, the back of you are a pretty good place, because enemies don't seem to just know that you're there, and they just don't bother, I guess. I know I did say earlier that enemies like to swarm, but it's kind of mostly when you're out in the open rather than just being in, like, a corner. Like, the corners in that earlier area, yeah, I mean, they would probably try to fucking swarm you to get the chance. But if you hide with a place where they can't come from behind you, then you should be okay. If they only have one way to get in, then it's a relatively good, okay place to hide. That's the thing I've noticed. And to be fair, to be fair, and to go against pretty much everything I say, I'm going to sound like a hypocrite, but... To kind of go against everything I was saying earlier. Um, in all technicality, the only enemies that really do try to swarm you are usually, like, melee enemies. Like, the guys with guns are not going to really bother that much unless they have a shotgun like this asshole. So, 
and the shield guys. You know, those ones are going to try to come up to you as fast as they possibly can. But everybody else just kind of stays back and does whatever they want. Oh, yeah. By the way, I do want to say thank you guys for making the uh, Bioshock 2 multiplayer because that was great back in the day. I do have it again. Luckily, you can play it on Steam, which is nice. I haven't played it for a little while, but I used to be pretty good at it. I used to love playing it back in the day. And then, um, yeah, then they killed it. So that was cool. That was really cool of you. I really liked. I really liked the part where I didn't need to play the fucking game anymore online. So that was nice. But that's you know that was the problem with being a console owner back then was whatever uh, whatever <laughs> multiplayer game you have, it's not gonna last. Like Resistance Three and Uncharted Three. God, I miss Resistance Three. I miss Uncharted Three just a little bit. I don't know, just a kind of, kind of. I, I don't know. I feel like I got most of what I wanted out of that game. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, I think I, I feel like I got most out of Uncharted 3, to be honest with you. So, I, you know, I, I, f I feel pretty uh, satisfied with my journey through it. I don't feel that satisfied with Battlefield 3, though. I didn't get that much out of it. You know, I played a lot of Metro 24 7 back in the day because I was one of those goofballs. So, that was always a lot of fun. I think you could still play Battlefield 3? I, I watched a video recently of somebody going through all the Battlefield games, I think they still play them. Like, I, I think it's one of those cases where, like, it's just, like, PC only. You know, maybe you have to go find, like, specific lobbies and people that want to play the game. Rather than just, you know, hoping for the best, but... No, for Battlefield 3, though, he did quick play. Hang on. Okay, I am recording. Okay. Real quick, let me mute my mic real quick. Sorry about that. I just have to clear my throat. Um, I've been pretty okay with it recently, though. It feels like it's starting to clear, thankfully. Except, like, a few little chip feelings here and there. Um, yeah, I really am freaking tired. Oh, holy crap. I've done practically butt fuck nothing all day. That sucks. I hate when that happens. Because then it makes me feel all depressed, you know, waiting for, like, the work week to come and then just realizing that it's just kind of suck ass. For those that are curious why I'm so worried is because I might possibly get suspended for a month. I don't know. I'm kind of banking on it at the same time, but I'm just afraid of getting yelled at. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Like, I don't care. It's just I don't want to get yelled at. That's the problem. I took too many days off, so... It's just one of those things, you know, if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, it does I just need to get that through my fucking brain and stop thinking about it. So, that's just a little glimpse into my life. That's pretty much about it, really. Besides, I bought, like, a bunch of Resident Evil games. I bought Revelations 1 and 2 bundle, which was, like, 11 bucks or whatever. Come to, like, 30 fucking DLC bags. It's ridiculous. And then I bought, uh, Code Veronica, finally. So, I got to finally play that. So, I like the old school. Resident Evil games. As much as I like the new ones, except for 6. I hate... Like, I know a lot of people don't like 6, and it might sound like, oh, you're just being that guy that just is shitting on 6 because everybody else does, and it's like, uh, maybe, kind of, I guess, but for the most part, I just don't like 6 besides just, like, playing Leon. That's about it, really. I, di I did not like Chris's campaign. I just... I don't know. I, I don't like it. I'm usually the kind of guy that just doesn't mind a lot of just whatever games. Like, for me, like, a bad game is more fun than just a game that's boring. You know what I mean? Because, like, Sonic 06 is considered bad, but I kind of like playing a little bit. I mean, hell, people, for some reason, consider Secret Rings a bad game. And it's like, no. I've even heard people say Sonic Colors was fucking bad. And it's like, how? I mean, besides, like, you know, the remaster doing its weird things, I didn't mind it. But, you know, I'm one of those people that just, I don't know. I just play whatever, you know? I play whatever, and I just don't like certain things. I don't like the Painkiller series. That much has been proven. Time and time again. That I just don't like it. But yeah, as you can see, I've basically got nothing to say, because most of what you have to fight now is just relatively basic fodder enemies to the point where it just becomes mind-numbing. So, doing commentary for this stuff just doesn't work. So, try. I'm trying to keep it interesting just a bit. I feel like, for the most part, you guys can figure out what to do, you know. At this point, 
for these guys in particular, like unless it's like an arena fight, you know, that I'm not gonna really probably bother too much unless it's something very specific that needs to be talked about. And plus, this is like what my third video in a row I'm doing. I mean, granted, you guys probably don't know that, but I know that. So, hang on. I hate this mic. I hate it so much. Not only does it make that stupid bump noise, so like you guys know I'm eating my mic, but not only that, but like sometimes I actually just hit it and it doesn't even work. So, making sure it's still on. Yeah. Okay. Making sure. Making movies, making souls, fighting around the world. Alright, now we're going to get the drop in on these guys. So, you can stay up here and just impale a few dudes if you wanted. That's something you could do. What do I buy now? Let's see. Demon Blades, finally? No. Expert Channeler. I forgot what that one was supposed to do. I don't remember. I wasn't looking hard enough. I'm just going so damn fast. I'm not even bothering to look. What's funny is like I have upgrades I can't buy, and I guess I go for the pistol. Okay, I think I go for the the pistol darkness advantage, where I think you get more ammo when you're in the dark. But that one might disappear, and I think I might actually. Oh, I got time. Uh. You know, funny enough, I've actually thought about every once in a while just ending off like my commentary like super early in the video, and just letting you guys just have the rest of the video to yourselves. To kind of watch either just for funsies or just you know visual help or whatever that's the most i can give you i for the most part like when it comes to darkness too the most i can tell you is just like you know besides repeating myself um the most i can just tell you is just specific places you can hide that make for good cover that's it, it's almost like playing a cod campaign except for at least in this game you can be more aggressive than you can in the cod campaign i feel and I have actually thought about doing, like, COD veteran mode campaigns, but to be fair, most of them are just kind of straightforward in a way. I mean, not every mission is, like, super linear straightforward, but for the most part, generally speaking, like, a lot of those games you end up, uh, you know, just getting shot, like, once, taking cover, and hiding behind something. And that's what um, Uncharted 3 Brutal Mode is going to be like. So, I don't, I'm, speaking of which, I don't know if I want to, sorry, you're going to hear my chair. Um, I don't know if I want to do Brutal Mode or if I want to do Crushing. I don't know yet. Because, like, I feel like Brutal Mode would be the best option because it's, like, the latest difficulty. But it also feels like it's one of those that was, like, an added difficulty. Because it is. It was an added difficulty for the remasters. But adding a difficulty, like, a higher difficulty setting doesn't make it a non-difficulty setting. It doesn't make it a gimmick setting or anything like that. No, for me, a gimmick setting is something like, I'd say, like, Hell and Hell and, and what have you from, like, you know, Dead May Cry. Something like that where, like, there's a clear, like, not necessarily arcade -y, but there's just, like, a clear uh, difference with how the gameplay focus is. Where, you know, with Hell and Hell, you die in one hit, but the enemies are on a Sparta mode, you know what I mean? So, it, it's one of those things where, like, it's clearly obvious that it's a harder Son of Sparta mode, but that's it. And, like, you could theoretic theoretically say that about Dante Must Die mode, where it's a harder Son of Sparta mode, but Dante Must Die is a different mode. It's a regular difficulty mode, I guess. So, I don't know. I did actually beat Devil May Cry 4, so I've never beaten the other three yet because I suck complete ass. And I just don't bother with 2. I, I just get bored playing 2. I mean, again, you know, like everybody else, I just get kind of bored playing it. That happens, you know, not everybody can like everything, right? I don't mind the game, I just don't like playing it that often, that's all. Did I really not cut any of this crap out that basically had nothing going on it again? Oh yeah, I'm gonna cut out the entire, uh... I'm gonna cut out the entire, you know, haunted house section because who gives a shit? My best advice is just shoot the damn enemies, I mean... <laughs> It, it, I will warn you, if you do miss an enemy, um, you're not getting them back, so do be careful. I don't know why I'm even recording this part of it. I could have stopped commentary like an hour ago at this point, because it, there's just nothing going on besides just grabbing guns. So, yeah, alright, see ya.